happen in our city, and it sets us back away from the work of gaining and regaining trust that should never complete the work that our mayors, city council members, local election leaders, state representatives, all across the country can be leading on. Uh, and with, if we want to see these sales, we better be doing it right now. And you attended the, the memorial service for, uh, for George Floyd um, yesterday. Uh, it was a very moving service. We all watched it. Um, did you get a chance to speak with members of the Floyd family? And if so, it, would you be willing to share with us if they told you what it is that they want to see changed in terms of policy? You know, I didn't speak directly uh, to members of the family. Obviously, I listened as his brother and other family members talked about what. Joy, and I think that's so important because while the country and now the world knows uh, all of the painful, excruciating details of how George Floyd died, most of us don't know much about how he lived. And that's, I think, the, the, the message right now is that when we say Black Lives Matter, that says don't just all of a sudden start paying attention to George Floyd after he's dead because he died in the way that he did. Uh, but let's start paying attention to the George Floyds of the world uh, before they're dead so that we can say, have uh, some stake together in how people live. Right now, when we see 43 million uh, Americans filing for unemployment insurance, when we see over 100,000 Americans uh, having died from COVID-19, uh, we know that we have a lot of work to do, particularly when we see the disparities around all of those things. We know that we have a lot of work to do to give a significant amount more care to how people live in this country. And you're, 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 your father was a police uh, officer, if I, uh, if I recall correctly, from having interviewed you yes. earlier. Um, That's right. He served almost three decades. And so when you talk to, you know, members of the other force, you know, off the record of being a mayor and just talking with them, do police officers, you know, get it that there needs to be more supervision and that supervision and having rules uh, is not a threat to good officers? What is the, what is the rank, what is the feedback that you're getting from officers about the demand for change? Joy, look, most of the officers I know, I, I, I can't find a single officer uh, who likes that video or who thinks that video is anything but despicable. Our police chief said this week uh, that he was telling his officers that if you can find anything honorable in that video, bring me your badge tomorrow. Uh, same thing with my father. I, I grew up seeing an example of a man uh, who would put on his badge, and I saw it as something of a cake. Uh, he would put on his badge and go to work, and I got a chance to see just growing up uh, the way he would use that badge and uniform to literally create magic in our community, to help solve problems that otherwise could not be solved because he knew the neighborhood. He lived in the neighborhood. He grew up in the neighborhood. He was raising his children in the neighborhood. He went to the store to get groceries and other things for his family in the neighborhood. And he would always say that if you know a community like that, if you know its people and you live with the people, if you know what's right in that community, you can go out of your way to find 